Last summer, I spent seven weeks in the Baltics, Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia, photographing and doing interviews of something I think is really cool. Remembering 1989. In 1989, two million people held hands between the capitals of these three countries to protest the Soviet occupation. And I drove the 630 kilometers of this path, and I photographed along the way, trying to find things that showed change, that showed the change of what happened since the Soviet occupation has fallen, since they have regained their liberty. So what I'm wanting to do with the Kickstarter video is simply take a selection of the 4,000 plus images that I shot during the summer and selections from all the interviews because I think that they're really interesting and fascinating and put this together into a book with text, portraits, and uh, the landscapes and cityscapes of uh, this place. You know, if you want to, this is sort of like my favorite. This is the bridge where it went through Riga. Here's a nice little photograph. This is where it started in Estonia. And check this out. Everybody see the Russian car? <laughs> All painted up. Russian car. With people now taking photographs in front of it. It was really sweet. You know, and then there's, you know, the portraits, which I'm doing as frescoes. This is Eric's, who brought me a bag of sausages at the end of the interview uh, from his hunting. I think they included moose uh, and deer and maybe some wild boar and uh, they were really good eating. I loved the, the hospitality of the people. I stayed in people's homes. I slept on their floors. I ate their food. Uh, I went to their uh, celebrations and uh, chatted with them about this project, about what they learned and experienced and what freedom has come to mean for them. So that's the project, to raise money to be able to fund the book. And I'm hoping to do a smaller, we'll do a kick smaller version that will be paperback, just a catalog of the exhibit uh, as a benefit for those who can't contribute as much. Think about this. You live in a country of say two million people and you bring down the Soviet Union, this massive country. Think about the pride you would have to have been able to accomplish this nonviolently, to be able to do this to bring this big change without having to kill anybody, without having to, to uh, arm and create more enemies. I would be really proud if I lived in a place that could do this kind of change without having to kill somebody.